almost. Look, I got a flower. Yeah, I like the more of a flower. Almost. 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 Dude, that just looks so hot in that. <laughs> Is that Ghost Media? <laughs> no. Boom! Oh, is, that, is that Leo filming? Yo, is that Greedy? <laughs> 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 I 
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Would you please rise and gentlemen remove your caps for the playing of our national anthem. Today, the national anthem will be performed by the Lapeer High School Wind Ensemble under the direction of Mr. Dan Hunt. Mr. Hunt. Graduates, you may be seated. In today's America, our young people have many career opportunities they can choose from. I am proud to recognize seven members of the Lapeer High School graduating class of 2023 that have committed to join our armed forces upon graduation. At this time, I would like to ask that they, along with any veterans or active service men or women with us today, please stand so we may demonstrate our appreciation for yours and their commitment to our nation. I'd also like to recognize all of our early college seniors. These 31 students have committed to a fifth year with plans to not only earn their high school diploma, but also their associate degree. I ask that these students please stand so we can recognize them for their continued hard work and efforts towards our education. Now I'd like to introduce Mr. Shavin Spilsky to welcome and address the class on behalf of the administration. Good afternoon. I'm honored to welcome family, friends, guests, and staff members to the 2023 Lapeer High School commencement exercise. Graduates, today marks the end of a chapter in your life. If you take a minute and reflect on the last 13 years, what would you say about your experience? Did you have victories? Did you have defeats? Did you do everything you wanted to do? Did you miss out on things that you wanted to do? No matter what the answer is to these questions, my hope is that you have had a great experience. Every experience we have, good or bad, allows us to grow as humans. They allow us to find out what we like to do and what we don't like to do. They allow us to create who we are meant to be. Many authors, philosophers, scientists have discussed that the average human life is about 28,000 days during their lifetime. For those of you who don't like math, that equates to about 76 years. You probably didn't think we were going to have math today. Surprise, math is used every day. Time is priceless. It is one of the few things that we can never get back. We cannot rewind the clock and start over. For most of you, you've already spent 6,500 of your days. For us on this stage, We've spent much more, unfortunately. No matter how much time you've spent or that you have left, I challenge each and every one of you to make sure that you do not waste any more days. Make every day count. Be the person who looks back on their life and says, what a ride. This was fun. I was a kind person. I showed grace. I have no regrets. If you can say that at the end of the day, you've lived a life full of rich experiences and amazing opportunities. 
Class of 2023, and congratulations on your accomplishments. We look forward to watching your next days in life, and we wish you good luck. It is my privilege to welcome the two seniors that have been selected to speak at today's ceremony. Matea Kenny and Gabriella Mirza have each prepared remarks to share with us today. Our first speaker will be Gabby, who is the daughter of Lisa and Jason Mirza. Next year, Gabby will continue her education at Husan College in Los Angeles, where she will study commercial dance. While a student in Lapeer, she was a member of the dance team for two years and served as a team captain. She has also been a part of both student council and class council, where she served as council president in her junior year. Her remarks will be followed by Matea, who is the daughter of Chad and Dr. Marie Kenny. While at LHS, Matea has served as president of Grow to Glow, as well as a captain of the swim team. Additionally, she has been a member of class council, National Honor Society, and the Drama Club. Earlier this year, she was recognized by the Chamber of Commerce as a Youth Citizen of the Year. She plans to begin her studies in nursing at Oakland Community College in the fall. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to introduce our student speakers. Please hold. One moment. All right, here we go. All right, thank you. Today I want to talk about fear. Fear is a part of life and probably something a lot of us are feeling right now. When we think of fear, we sometimes think of failure. We fear trying new things and being bad at them. We fear taking risks and making mistakes. We fear discomfort. I want to share a story about this. In kindergarten, I signed up for the school talent show. It would be my first time on stage. When the day came, I was so excited. I put on my favorite dress and we drove down to the high school auditorium so I could perform, but I didn't. I was so nervous about messing up that I changed my mind at the last minute and decided I didn't want to do it, so I didn't. I didn't even try. Instead, I sat safe and comfortable in the audience and watched all my friends go up. And when we got in the car and drove away, I wanted so badly to go back in time and change my mind. I didn't realize how much I would regret letting my fear control me. A million thoughts of what if flooded my brain. What if it would have been fun? What if even if I did mess up, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal? What if I would have just done it? Now you may be thinking, what does my kindergarten talent show have to do with anything? But that day, life was trying to teach me a lesson, a lesson that translates to bigger things. That lesson is fear regret more than you fear failure. And no, I'm not talking about the type of regret you feel when you did something you wish you hadn't. Rather, the opposite. I'm talking about the type of regret you feel when you didn't do something you wish you had. That what if retrospect. The next year when the talent show rolled around, I was just as scared as the year before. But then I thought to myself, you know what's even worse than going on stage and messing up? Not going on at all and then regretting it later. So I did, I went on stage for the first time in my life. And believe me, it wasn't perfect. It was awkward and uncomfortable. But more than that, it was exhilarating and eye-opening. And as we drove away, just like the year before, I wanted to go back in time. But this time, not to change my mind and not go on stage. Rather, to go on stage again and feel that feeling, what it felt like to take a chance. Fear regret more than you fear failure. Fear the regret of never trying more than trying and failing. Be scared and do it anyway. Leave no room later in life for that what if feeling. 
When we think of fear, we often think of failure. We ask ourselves, is it gonna work out? Instead, when we think of fear, we should think of regret. We should ask ourselves, did I have the courage to find out? Let us no longer fear a failed attempt. Let us instead fear the absence of one. In this moment, we're at the beginning of the rest of our lives. We're all signed up for the kindergarten talent show. We're in our favorite dresses and we're really nervous. We all wanna take a chance, but we're so scared of messing up that we're considering not even going on stage. But you have to, you have to just, have to just try. In 50 years, we're gonna look back on this exact moment and want a time machine, but that's not how it works because like we were just talking about, life is quick and you only get one shot. Life is too short to be perfect when mistakes teach us things about ourselves. Too short to play it safe when there is no true reward without risk. Too short to stay in your comfort zone when there is something amazing waiting just outside of it. And maybe failure isn't as scary as we make it out to be, but maybe just a part of the journey. So take center stage, take a leap of faith and try. Because even if you fall, you'll feel what it's like to fly. In 50 years when we are looking back, I hope none of us feel regret. I hope we all wish to have a time machine, but not so we can go back and change our minds about count, countless, lesson, countless chances left untaken. Rather, so we can go back and relive all the experiences we had because we did take them. No more asking ourselves what if because we are going to find out. We are a brave group of people. As we enter this new time in our lives, both as a class and as individuals, let's say this for ourselves. We will give all of our dreams a chance. Even in the face of fear, or especially in the face of fear, we will leave no chances left untaken. Thank you. Whew, okay, well, here we are, sitting before our family, friends, and faculty, ready to get these last few hours over with so we can move on to the next chapter of our lives. But first, let's rewind. This day is the day we've been talking about since fifth grade, when our school email said 2023, and we thought that year would never exist. But it's now, and we're graduating today. We're getting our diplomas, and we're going to see what the world has in store for us. We're graduating right now. Right now. Words often used to describe graduating are fulfilling, ready for the world, grown up, worthy and bittersweet. Wow. I'm not sure about you, but I don't know if I align myself with all of these words. Fulfilling, sure. Ready for the world, mm, define ready. Grown up, it feels like it, but not quite. Worthy, well, I hope so. Bittersweet, definitely. Looking back on senior year, there is no better way to describe it than bittersweet being covered in confetti and silly string in the football student section, late night powder puff practices when the coaches were trying to see who could punt the ball the farthest when we needed to learn the plays, and still winning against the juniors. Leaving homecoming early because the DJ's music stopped working just to find out it was only unplugged. Early morning water war stakeouts, senior skip days, snow days, and drunk goggle days with Wetzel. We have so many memories to hold on to that will last a lifetime. And although we have these crazy, adventurous high school memories, we now have the opportunity to create new ones within a new chapter of our lives. And that's exactly how we should look at it. I know some of you are ready to run out the door right now and never look back. But for the rest of us, it'll be nerve wracking to even think about leaving the comforts of our family home and learning how to do our own laundry. Do colors and whites really need to be separated or is it just a rumor? It might sound cliche, but who really knows what's each for next for each and every single one of us? It's going to be new and scary, but it can also be exciting. We simply need to change our perspective and face things head on. We're going to experience things we've never experienced in the comforting fishbowl that is Lapeer High School, but we're going to do fine. We're gonna persevere and take what we've learned here and create our own path, do our own things, and be our own people. Today is the day priorities change and responsibilities grow. I'm proud of us, and I know we have brilliant things waiting for us, we just have to go find them. And now we can officially start looking with our diploma in hand. Congratulations, Lapeer Class of 2023. And as Hannah Montana said, the chapter is ending, but the story has only just begun.
If I could get all of our senior choir members to head over for our performance. of Mr. Dan Hunt. They'll be performing Don't Stop Believing by Journey. Featured soloists are Dominic Hebron, Emily Fisher, and Lydia Fenner. Thank you, Mr. Hunt, members of the choir. This afternoon is my great pleasure to introduce Mrs. April Labar to address the class on behalf of the Board of Education. Mrs. Labar and her late husband Jeremy moved to Lapeer in 2012. Her path to serving on the board grew out of an abundance of volunteering in the schools, starting at Murphy Elementary, and in the community that they did together with organizations like Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, and Flag Football. Together they have three sons, Jacob, a senior graduating with us today, Brody, a sophomore at LHS, and Jameson, a sixth grader at Roland Warner. 
Mrs. Labar is in her second year on the Board of Education and currently works for the Lapeer County Road Commission. Joining Mrs. Labar for her comments to the class of 2023 is Dr. Jeff Stanton, principal of our Zimmer 89 campus. Dr. Stanton has been, had a number of our graduates today as students at Murphy Elementary, Roland Warner, and Zimmer. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. April Labar and Dr. Jeff Stanton. The definition of resilience, according to Google, the capacity to withstand or to recover quickly from difficulties, toughness. Class of 2023, you have persevered through some of the most difficult times in your high school career. As freshmen in the spring of 2020, when the modern world as we knew it stopped. It was unfathomable to all of us that our world, our society, had to grind to a halt. Yet, we endured and are all here today with your family and friends to celebrate that accomplishment. Congratulations. <clears throat> Who was beside you then, encouraging you, motivating you? And some are still here today in this very room. Who never gave up on you? who never quit believing in you, who never threw in the towel and learned quickly how to deliver lessons via Zoom, navigate Google Classroom and other online forums that assisted in teaching? Yes, it is the teachers. However, it is not only the teachers, but the parapros, the assistants, all of the people in the administration building, the custodians, the food service workers, the bus drivers. Everyone in the school setting has been a part of your learning career, and I'd like you to think for a moment who stands out and thank them. Just take a minute. Who else is in this room today? Who else was beside you from kindergarten even up to right now, today? Making sure that you woke up, fed, got dressed, and got to school, or here to the auditorium to graduate. Who helped you pick out socks that you couldn't find? Who helped you start your day and encouraged you to be successful? Who drove you to practices, games, events, motivated, nagged, bribed? Was it your mom? Was it your dad? Siblings, grandmas, grandpas, a family friend? Please think of those people for a moment. And, and silently thank them for never giving up on you or believing in your success. Let's think about where you began back in the fall of 2010 as kindergartners. As a mom, I remember the sweet smiles and how excited you were to be back, to be in school, to get your first backpack, to meet your teachers, to find your cubby or your locker, to make new friends, you may have been a little anxious, but you did it. You got on that big yellow bus, or you got out of that car, and you went inside and started on your educational journey. You are here in the spring of 20, 2023 as graduating seniors, perhaps not always so smiling, and a little anxious about where the road will take you. You've had countless teachers, friends, and you've managed to maneuver and figure out how to do the things that you once thought was hard and have been successful. I challenge you to focus on how far you have come and be proud of yourselves. You have grown from age five to 18 and you have not given up. Despite COVID and the horrible aftermath that many of you here in this audience have personally endured, along with myself, we have persevered and come out on the other side. We have shown resilience. A friend sent me a poem in the midst of my struggles in the aftermath of the loss of my dear husband, Jeremy. And I'm gonna read it to you today. Strength, you are strong for getting out of bed in the morning when it feels like hell. You are brave for doing things even though they scare you or make you anxious. 
And you are amazing for trying and holding on no matter how, li how hard life gets. Unknown. You will continue to grow and learn and come out on the other side. We have shown the resilience and we have learned, grown, and armed with the knowledge, love, and support of so many who believe in you, who see your capabilities. Get out there and be courageous. Keep trying and show the resilience that only your generation knows. Congratulations, class of 2023. Hi guys. <laughs> Thank you, April. So as Mr. Lindsay and April mentioned, uh, most of the, the students in here know me because I have been, uh, for many of them, their principal for, for many years. So for probably 95% of them, if they didn't transfer in, uh, I was their principal in sixth grade at Roland Warner, seventh grade at Roland Warner, ninth grade at Roland Warner, uh, but then, and as they mentioned, if you were a Murphy student, I was your principal in, I think, third, fourth, fifth grade, right? So that's a lot of time spent together. So, you know, I, I hear a lot of times at commencements, there are uh, celebrity speakers and things like that. Well, you guys get me, again, for, yeah, I could see your faces when you, when I wasn't in the program and they said I was gonna speak, I kinda thought, man, this guy again? So yeah, you get two more minutes with me before, you, uh, before you're done here. Uh, but this is a, a huge occasion for me though, obviously spending so much time with, the, with these students. Uh, like I said, after your, your parents and guardians in the last you know, 12, 13 years, I, I probably spent more time with you than, than most people. Uh, I'm gonna sp spend a little bit of time talking to my, my Murphy students. Uh, because, you know, they, all of you are important to me and I spent a lot of time with you, but like I said, those Murphy students, we spent three years together back at Murphy. And the role of a principal changes quite a bit from elementary to middle school. So, you know, back at Murphy, little stories, you know, you're, you're a big hero at a, as an elementary principal. You get a lot of hugs, uh, you know, kids think you're pretty cool. Um, you know, I, I think back to when we used to play soccer on the playground at Murphy. And, you know, the reason I went out on the playground in soccer was because that's where we had most of our problems. Uh, you know, wood chips getting thrown, people getting hit with the ball, what you would call, you know, maybe a fight at that age. So I go out there and if, if you get ahead of it, then you don't have problems the rest of the day. So I would be out there, dress shoes, suit, uh, but of course I played too. So. If you remember, and I know some of you do, uh, I was quite the weapon as a player because the field was so small that I could play goalie on one end and actually kick the ball and score on the other end. So, and, and the funny thing is, is uh, they thought I was like the greatest athlete in the world. Never mind, I was a 30-something-year-old 30 30 man playing with eight-year-olds, but. And I'm pretty sure that my record still stands for most goals scored in a Murphy soccer game. So, fast forward to middle school. Uh, not quite the hero as a principal in middle school. Uh, I don't know, parents, if you experienced this, but uh, you're not quite as cool in middle school uh, as you were in elementary school. So, I saw a little bit of that, you know, kids walking by me in the hallway, and oh, that's Mr. Stamp, but uh, no hugs anymore in middle school, but uh, it is it is great to see you guys all here today, uh, all grown up, so so much more matured uh, than those last few years I had you at Roland Warner and at Zemmer. Um, you know the things that I used to have to do stop you from playing tag in the hallways, dunking on each other over the and the lockers. I see you laughing. Does that still happen? No, no, see? Um, is this the fidget spinner group? <laughs> yeah, I hate those things. <laughs> Somebody made a lot of money on fidget spinners. So, yeah, but those things don't happen today. I come over and visit the high school, and you guys walk through the hallway like you're adults, and I'm like, 
You couldn't do that when you were at Zimmer. So, I do want to say, though, the reality is, is, is probably half of you I may never have had a conversation with. Um, you know, said hi in the hallway, recognized the face, but, you know, you were always doing everything you were supposed to do. Uh, some of you are shaking your head. I might, might not be talking about you. No, but <laughs> the, always on time for class. You know, never do it running in the hallway doing those things. Um, and, and because you were always making the right decisions, there was no need for us to have conversations. So I do appreciate that. Thank you for that. Instead, you know, as a, as a principal, you spend a lot of time with, with the students that probably need you a little bit more. Uh, and those of you, you're, it, it makes me proud to see all of you, but, but those of you that, that, you know, there was a time that we, you know, had to meet with me, meet with parents and those kinds of things, uh, that's what makes me really proud to see you, you make it here today. Because uh, there were times I had my doubts about some of you. Parents, you probably know what I mean. But, uh, you know, I say to kids all the time, I probably said it to you guys, um, and I say it to my students now, I say, I have one job, and that job is to get you to graduate. And so there's a, a certain level of satisfaction being here today and, and actually seeing it happening. Uh, I did want to, parents, a quick message to you. Uh, thank you for supporting your kids for the last 18 years. Um, you know, this special thanks, I know April mentioned it, but it comes from all the educators in Lapeer, but from me especially too. Uh, I do now have two kids of my own under the age of four. Um, I know I'm pretty old to have two kids under the age of four, you're right. Uh, but, you know, I watched a lot of great parenting over the last 10 years that I've been in Lapeer. And I think you've, you've really created a super parent because I pick up on little things that I see you do and the events that, that you took your kids to and the time you spent. So, so I really do appreciate you. Um, and uh, brings me to the graduates. Two more things. So kind of on that note, and April alluded to this as well, appreciate all those people that helped you get to this point. So parents, grandparents, guardians, teachers, and, and not just think about them. If you do one thing today, if those people are here, tell them that. Tell them, thank you for pushing you to get you to this moment because you didn't do it on your own. So make sure you do tell them that. If there's one thing, thanks mom, thanks dad, thanks grandma, because you never know if you're going to have that opportunity. So the second thing too, I listened to Mrs. Labar and she alluded to, you face some adversity, COVID being one of them. Uh, but, but adversity can be a great thing, okay? So adversity and failure builds character. So the issue is, is every student that in your age group experienced COVID as well. So don't use that. It'd be very easy for you to say, well, I grew up doing COVID and use it as a crutch. But if you use it as one of those things that help build character in you, you have a tremendous opportunity in front of you. Use those tough experiences to your advantage because not everybody your age will. So it's been a pleasure being your principal for so many years and uh, I couldn't be more proud to see all of you here today. So thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Labar and Dr. Stamp. Now the moment we have been waiting for. It is my distinct privilege and with great pride that I am able to declare that each senior before us today has successfully fulfilled the graduation requirements of the State of Michigan and Lapeer Community Schools and is entitled to receive their diploma. Board of Education members, along with Superintendent Wandry, will assist in the distribution of diplomas. Faculty roll callers for this afternoon are Mrs. Cheryl Butterfield, 
Ms. Victoria Kloss, Mrs. Amy Murphy, Ms. Summer Shones, Mrs. Jennifer Taylor, Mrs. Kristen Wilcox, and Mrs. Regine Wolski Bull. During the conferring of diplomas, members of the audience are asked to please remain seated. Andrews. <laughs> Timothy Michael Andrews. <laughs> Dakota J. Back. Jackson Levi Bays. Ryan Scott Ballman. Frank Allen Barber. Derek James Bealby. Jaden Lynn Andrews. Danielle Nicole Bailey. Paige Elizabeth Baker. <laughs> Rachel Ann Ballman. <laughs> Isabella Diane Barbera. Casey Marie Beard. Aiden K. Benito. Alenzi Marie Becker. Grace Marie Bissonnette. <laughs> Kayla Marie Boger. <laughs> Nathan Michael Bergstrom. Aaron Blake Berlin. Yeah. 
Jesse Osborne Betterly. Joseph Anthony Bezad II. Matthew Allen Bowman. Owen Austin Boyle. Gage August Gray Bernabic. Benjamin Allen Brodsky. Aiden Lewis Brzezinski. Rafe Alexander Buchanan. Agnes Marion Boger. Keegan Anne Marie Boston. Danielle Morgan Bowman. Emma Rochelle Bradley. Aubrey Juliana Brandt. Auden Rain Broker. Sydney Ray Brodsky. Jasmine Lynn Brown. Lauren Elizabeth Brown. Caitlin Jacqueline Buchanan. Chase Lawrence Berta. Adam Michael Campbell. Andrew William Campbell. Owen William Campbell. Jacob Ferris Carter. Colton Marshall Childers. Bo R. Clancy. Gabriel Eric Joseph Klein. Braden Andrew Connell. Carson Walker Cook. Yeah. 
Charlene Ruth Burns. Jocelyn Marie Burpee. Mallory Lee Butterfield. Alexandra Elizabeth Bice. Liliana Irene Castano. Isabella Grace Catane. Sarah Rose Shamaro. Jasmine Marie Chamberlain. Sierra Dawn Chima. Camelia Sadari Chipantanzi. Logan James Cooper. William Zachary Cox. John Marshall Kramer. Cameron Harrison Curry. Lucas James Dallas. Michael Joseph Davis. Brian Larry Donovan. Ryan De La Cruz Dash. J.D. Ryan Downey. Carter James Dundas. Emily Christine Clark. Autumn Lee Coger. Carissa Lee Coleman. Rebecca Lynn Marie Collings. Kaylin Renee Collins. Kendall Marie Cook. Victoria Alexis Cornell. Christine Ann Corner. Emery May Coulter. Alexandra Noel Cousineau. Jacob Randall Elling. Dylan Michael Fansler. Christopher Alexander Ferguson. Matthew John Fifield II. Chase Joseph Fike. 
Louis Daniel Frontiro. Ethan Michael Fry. Sebastian William Gardner. Aiden Thomas George. Lucas Jack Gleason. Isabella Myra Cox. Lily Cecilia Denver. Abigail Florence DeVeast. Lacey Jean Dezilia. Thank you. Laura Rose Deal. Chloe Ann Dion. Emily Gail Duncan. Molly Jean Elkins. Megan Joanne Essenacher. Ava Gianna Feather. Aiden William Gooch. Riley Stephen Grassy. Levi David Greenhouse. Jacob Michael Grairbeer. Donovan James Gruber. Daniel Joseph Guthrie. Preston Charles Hagemeister. Blake Thomas Hall. Isaiah Anthony Hall. Nicholas Anthony Harrington. Jenna Renee Felton. <laughs> Noah Ann Sanchez Fiber. <laughs> Riley Elizabeth Fick. Gwen Andrew Fisher. Kaylee Bell Fletmeyer. Delaney Elizabeth Fleury.
Abigail Marie Francis. Olivia Elizabeth Franz. Leah Josephine Freeland. Chelsea Jean Fugate. Drake Allen Hiddle. Jacob Xavier Hottam. Nolan James Hauk. Mason Kyle Howard. Marcellus Anthony Hudson. Boone Orion Hunt. Logan Christopher Johns. Noah John Johnson. Grant Lee Johnston. Henry Raymond Kalis. <laughs> this graduate is also celebrating her birthday. Natalie Sue Gardner. Right. Elena Grace Griffith. Isabella Elizabeth Grouchek. Kiva Marie Hartman. <laughs> Hannah Gail Heathcock. <laughs> Dominique Page Cahill Hebron. <laughs> Joanne Hill. <laughs> Mia Marie Hobbins. <laughs> Brendan Alfred Keel. <laughs> Seth. W. Kip. Yeah. Ha 
Hunter Logan Knott. Tyler Jacob Kopka. Jacob Allen Labar. Mark Evan Laffrey. Matthew Lewis Laffrey. Jackson Patrick Eagle Lau. Antonio Carvalho Leandres. Avery Michael Lewis. Savannah Marie Isom. Dana Marie Jacobs. Jane Alfreda Jadak. Lauren Grace Johnson. Jaden Michaela Jones. Brooklyn Noel Caneth. Madison Paige Kelly. Matea Evelyn Kenny. Cameron Lee Kerbison. Mackenzie Marie King. Jacob Michael Lilly. Ryan Allen Locke. Blake Michael Malie. Nicholas Menica. Merritt Reese. Archbanks. Matthew Joseph Marco. Connor Michael Martin. Sagan Preston McAllister. Riley Claire McCready. Tevis Charles McGuckin.
Riley Ann Kinney. Rosemary Elizabeth Kohler. Madison Louise Kozar. Lauren Ann Labeza. Riley Joan Lally. Morgan Elizabeth Lamborn. Amber Elizabeth Lamphier. Emma Nicole Lang. Tegan Ivor Louise Layton. Emma Colleen Faith Lizzo. Ethan Michael McNeese. Scott William McWory. Gavin Blake Montgomery. Devin LaShawn Morehouse. Nicholas James Mazzola. Isabel Levine. <laughs> Olivia Marie Love. <laughs> Talia Saray Lowe. <laughs> Savannah Grace. Ludeman. Lexi Christine Martinez. Alora Rose Maddie. Tori Rayanne Mock. Ava May McCluskey. <laughs> Emily Francis McCory. <laughs> Timothy Fu Hian Wen. Tyler Nathaniel Norton. Nicholas.
Christopher Oko. Brent Amos Miguel Ortiz. Lucas Anthony Parker. Travis M. Polakowski. Tyler Brian Priest. Nicholas James Putnam. Jordan Michael Ramsey. Isabella Ann Malaski, Chloe Sharon Lucille Moore, Madison Rose Mueller. Kieralis Nieves Hernandez.
Mackenzie K. Nowak. Julia Francis Asentoski. <laughs> Sophia Pastor Sebastian. <laughs> Rihanna Renee Pickering. Alexandria Marie Pullum. Jackson Kenneth Seaferly. <laughs> Matthew Thomas Sirakowski. Nishant Siva Kumar. <laughs> Colin Alexander Skindel. <laughs> Matthew Stephen Smith. Seth Dustin Smith. Michael Abraham Stuffler. <laughs> Gavin Michael Stenquist. Robert Sutherland Stenz. Alexander Jackson Stepke. Madison Austin Porritt. Alexia Ariana Prue. Charity Elizabeth Queen. Michaela Enola Lynn Ray. Karina Elena Wrights. I got it. Lelia Elizabeth Rhine. Elizabeth Ann Ridley. Genevieve Lynn Robinette. <laughs> Lily Phoenix Robinson. <laughs> McKenna Beth Saltzman. Bryson, Matthew, Stewart. <laughs> yeah. 
Mason Scott Suko. Devin Scott Suter. Alexander Riley Taylor. Morgan Russell Taylor. Andrew William Turbush. Jeffrey Allen Scott Tesler. Toby Matthew Trichler. Lucas Michael Trottier. Colton Manfred Turk. Esmeralda Sanchez.